Welcome back to part two of this four part series where I'll be continuing to show you how you can go about using Microsoft Copilot within Office 365 apps to revolutionize your daily workflows, to improve your output, increase the speed of delivery, and importantly, get back time in your day. These videos are designed for anyone and everyone who's using Office 365 and keen to start folding AI into the things that they do. In my previous video, I provided an overview of Microsoft Copilot and how to leverage its capabilities within Microsoft Excel. Today, the theme will be on covering Microsoft PowerPoint and its enhanced capabilities when using Copilot with useful real world examples that demonstrate how our clients and our team are using Copilot to assist them in their day-to-day -day lives. As mentioned previously, this is designed to be a tight demonstration of what is possible with Copilot and at a high level only, focusing purely on quick wins for common activities, such as specifically creating PowerPoints from scratch or from Word documents and templates to adding slides and getting insights from presentations provided which you're reviewing. A lot more is possible, but requires a deeper training on Microsoft's prompt library, which is accessible within the apps themselves, which I'll show you again how to access in this video, or via the website adoption.microsoft.com forward slash copilot. Beyond what I'm teaching today, Copilot can do a lot of advanced stuff too, such as building custom AI assistants for automating repetitive tasks, or even creating AI agents, which, is a rabbit hole we'll get lost down. More on that as a topic for another day. For this second tutorial, we are looking again specifically at Microsoft PowerPoint. Copilot can assist with creating slide decks from scratch, generating supporting content, and streamline design elements in PowerPoint presentations. And I'll dive in and show you how in a moment. Importantly, in order to utilize Copilot within Office 365 apps, you need an active Copilot Pro or Copilot for Work license, which can be purchased from Microsoft as a bolt-on to any existing subscription. Onto the training. I'll now screen share with you and walk you through this demonstration in a live environment. Okay, first, having opened the PowerPoint presentation, let's turn on the auto save feature to ensure that your progress is saved automatically at the time of recording. Copilot requires this feature to be enabled to use is features. To enable autosave, the file you're working on must be saved to a cloud accessible location such as OneDrive or SharePoint. You can enable autosave in the top left hand corner. On mine, it's already enabled, but this is where you go about doing it. Now we're ready to start using Copilot. On the ribbon at the top, you will see a Copilot icon. Click to open up the Copilot sidebar. This is where you enter your instructions, also known as prompts, and here are some suggestions on prompts you can use out of the box. You've got create, understand, create presentations about. There's a, there's a myriad of options there. You can also either type prompts in within the text box or for a more hands-free experience, use your microphone to dictate specific instructions or content directly to Copilot. Here's where you go about achieving that, uh, but my microphone is currently disabled. Now clicking view prompts brings up a window filled with other prompts, common prompts or relevant prompts that you can use within PowerPoint. To see a wider library of additional prompts that can be leveraged within Copilot and within Microsoft PowerPoint, in the bottom right hand corner, click see all prompts. There you go. Minimizing that for now. Now let's get stuck in and make our presentation. Here we'll create a new presentation from scratch on an example topic. Say the future of law firms highlighting the latest trends of technologies. So in the chat box, type in create a new presentation in the future of law firms within the UK highlighting current trends technologies and challenges. So we'll give it a moment. All right, and there we go. So from scratch, a blank presentation, Copilot has just created a 15 page slide deck on the future of law firms within the UK, exploring trends, challenges and technologies as per the prompt. So now you've got to this stage, what Copilot can also do is add additional slides based on prompts that you provided. 
So let's go for a supporting slide and we'll say feature the list of top 10 law firms in the UK adopting new technologies the fastest and the benefits they've seen. Let's drop it in anywhere for now. So presentation overview, evolving trends in law firms. And here's the newly created slide. Next, what you can also ask PowerPoint to do, or rather Copilot within PowerPoint to do, is organize your slides. When it comes to organizing your slides, Copilot can organize them logically based on the content including mixing them up as necessary to improve the overall flow of the presentation. Excellent, and there we go. Next, what's also a very nice feature within Copilot is that it can generate speaking notes for each slide, helping you prepare for your presentations. And this feature is enabled by default. You'll be able to find your speaking notes at the bottom of every single slide created, which you can go ahead and edit and change as you need to. Next, let's move on to analysis and interpretation and insights. Say you've been given a slide deck that you quickly want to get the flavor of. You can ask Copilot to summarize the key points of the presentation and it even links back to the source content within the slides for easy reference. So here we go. And there's our summary. And there's the points to references within the individual slides themselves. Excellent. Okay, so that wraps up Copilot within PowerPoint when it comes to creating and editing slides from blank. Let's try something a little bit more creative. Let's move on to getting PowerPoint to create a presentation based on a document you've been provided, such as a report. So let's delete everything here. So we'll start a new chat and we will delete all items here. So creating presentations from Word documents. You can either generate a shareable link from any document and you can add it directly into the chat. When it comes to creating presentations from Word documents, you can either do it from a generated shared link from said document, or you can get Copilot to search within your cloud repository to pull up information and documents that you wish to use. So let's go with a dummy document that I used before. So create a presentation from, now the key syntax here is forward slash, which allows you to go ahead and start searching for stuff. So let's go to marketing, dummy doc, perfect create a presentation from this. Let's run it. So this is another way to approach it whilst we wait for this to load. Instead of creating a shareable link that allows you to quickly find documents that you're using, that you wish to use to create new content off the back of. Law Comprehensive Marketing Strategy for a law firm. And again, from nothing, we already have a document or rather a PowerPoint with imagery and everything already created. AI will get you 80%, maybe even 90% of the way there. But even then, the amount of time that's saved off the back of that and energy allows you to focus it on applying the Pareto principle, the final 10, 20%, which requires more of your time and it's the higher value activity or piece behind it. PowerPoint also has Copilot integrated into the designer to really jazz up your slides. To use designer or use the designer feature to make more changes to styles and streamline the design elements of your presentation, in order to access it, you'll find it up here on the right. Excellent, that's that. Go ahead, you can make changes that you wish to do, looking over the entire slide presentation to make it more engaging from various points or various perspectives. We'll close that. So what I won't be demonstrating here today, but it's also good to know is you can also build presentations from templates to ensure consistency in formatting, content and imagery. However, it's crucial to build templates specifically for Copilot to work effectively with them. It's something again that I won't be covering in detail today, but a comprehensive guide on how to create such templates can be found 
in the Microsoft Guide linked in the description below. So that's a wrap for today's tutorial on Microsoft Copilot within PowerPoint. As mentioned, this is a high level look at the features you can use now. More complex actions can be achieved, which can be found by exploring the Copilot prompt library or the website adoption.microsoft.com forward slash copilot. Remember, AI is getting smarter every day and the possibilities and its potential are continually increasing. Stay tuned for the next session where I'll be covering Copilot in Microsoft Word. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and updates and feel free to DM me for any particular queries or to know more about me, what we do at Impact for our clients and our website will be in the description along with other key links and resources referred to in this video. Thank you for watching and happy co-piloting.